Good morning, folks. Everything new under the sun. Here is another what is video. I, I thought this would be an interesting one to make. And again, it's not a, a deep dive into the Levant necessarily, but it's a quick look at uh, what the Levant is, how it matches up with the promised land in the Bible, the land promised to Israel. So the Levant is a term used um, by many to describe um, the area of uh, the Middle East. This is from wikipedia.com. And of course, if you recall, ISIS um, uh, Muslims uh, in general uh, refer to the Levant, the, an area in the Middle East uh, that they want to um, take over, that they want to own, um, that they want to have as uh, their, their caliphate. The Levant is an approximate, geo, uh, uh, approximate historical geographical term referring to a large area in the eastern Mediterranean, primarily western Asia. In its narrowest sense, it is equivalent to the historical region of Syria. In its widest sense, the Levant included all of eastern Mediterranean with its islands. Um, that is, it included all the countries along the eastern Mediterranean shores from uh, Greece um, to Cyrenaica. So this is a term, again, used by ISIS and, and other uh, Arab uh, and, and Muslim uh, countries and, and people groups um, to uh, describe the landmass uh, that they that they feel is uh, theirs. And so this is an image of the Levant. This is from uh, Google Images. And so you can see the yellow outline there. You can see it includes part of Egypt. It includes part of Saudi Arabia, part of Jordan, uh, and uh, um, basically all of Syria there and Lebanon. This is what they refer to as, well, and Cyprus. This is what they refer to as the Levant. This is the area which they want to control. This is, uh, you know, what ISIS claims they want to control. Um, this is what um, the Muslims, uh, the Arabs, this is uh, the land that they want. So it's interesting that the, the Levant, the, 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 the land mass that they want to control and populate uh, is eerily similar uh, to uh, the area promised to Israel uh, in the Bible, in the promised land. So let's look at this here. This is an image from, again, Google Images, and this uh, shows um, the original borders of uh, the promised land. And so what does the original uh, borders of the promised land spoken of in Genesis 15 uh, and other uh, locations, what, uh, what land mass does that describe? Well, look at it. It includes some of Egypt. Some of Saudi Arabia it includes some of Iraq uh, and all of the Jordan uh, and part of Syria and Lebanon. So this is part of the Promised Land. So what is the Promised Land then? Well, the Promised Land is from another article from Wikipedia, also known as the Land of Milk and Honey, is a land which, according to the Tanakh, the Hebrew Bible, was promised and subsequently given by God to Abraham and, and his descendants, and in modern contexts, an image and idea related both to the restored homeland uh, for the Jewish people and to salvation. So where uh, is Israel right now? Well, Israel is uh, pushed down into an area right in the middle of that image, just a tiny uh, selection of uh, what originally was the borders of um, uh the promised land basically so here you can see uh, present-day Israel in this image this is the land to which they are um, stuck and if they uh, do a two-state solution um, they're gonna e have even you know about basically 50 percent of that land mass if you um, oops, if you if you divide the land of Israel and, and they want to and the borders are already drawn up then they lose even more of that land but when you look at it when you uh, zoom out you look at uh, I wonder if I can go to this image the full size image here let's uh, see if we can there we go if you can, if you can see that if we look at the whole image here um, you can see that the promised land is a huge amount and this these are the original borders described in Genesis and uh, Joshua um, uh, to give uh, two chapter references to the Bible and so Israel right now um, doesn't control obviously a large part of that and what they want to do with the peace deal is uh, cause Israel to own even less of what they own now which is just a small slice of the promised land up in the uh, top right corner there so that is uh, what it is and so the promised land uh, and Levant are, are for all intents and purposes basically describing the same thing uh, one um, uh, one owned by and uh, and called uh, by the uh, the Jewish uh, and Israel uh, as their own land as their original promised land and the other one um, named by um, the Arabs the Muslims 
um, you know, ISIS, etc., as as their land, as their caliphate, as 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 land uh, that they should own. Um, so you can see um, a, a direct conflict there, obviously, between the two people groups. And so, who does the land uh, belong to? Well, again, in Genesis, uh, in the book of Joshua, it, it speaks to Israel being given this promised land. The promise was first made to Abraham in Genesis 15, then confirmed to his son Isaac in Genesis 26, and then to Isaac's son Jacob in Genesis 28. The promised land was described in terms uh, of the territory from the river of Egypt to the Euphrates, a smaller area of former Canaanite land, and land east of the Jordan River was conquered and occupied by their descendants, the Israelites, after Moses led the exodus out of Egypt. And so this is the uh, disputed landmass um, by uh, basically um, Islam and uh, uh, Judaism um, between um, the major religions there. And, and so this is uh, the battleground effectively in the last days. So just a description, quick look at what the Levant is as compared to the Promised Land. And um, they're uh, basically um, the same land masses that they're fighting over. Um, and and so this is the uh, again the the battleground in the last days. Um, so I believe there a quick description of what the Levant is, and uh, basically it is the Promised Land described in the Bible, um, uh, but considered but the ownership is considered um, uh, by uh, the Muslims uh, to be their own and uh, not for the Jews, not for Israel. And and so this is the continual fight over the last a couple thousands of years uh, as to who owns this land and uh, who is allowed to populate it. So I'll leave there, guys, a quick um, description of what the Levant is. Thanks for watching. Um, let me know what you think of that. Leave your comments in the description, and we'll see you guys in the next video.